Hi everyone, and in this video, I want to talk to you about how filter sizes correlate to sensor sizes. Because you might be thinking, if you're starting off in astrophotography, that you're going to need a light pollution filter, or a dual band filter, triplet band filter, or quad band filter, or maybe you want to get like a narrow band filter or an AJ filter, and you might be thinking, should I be buying an inch and a half or a two inch filter? Because there's a big cost difference between the two. So one thing you do want to know is that filters in astrophotography actually sit between the camera and the lens. In this particular case, there's a little adapter here that will hold a filter in there. And the reason this is done is because most telescopes, the front aperture is simply too big to put a regular photo filter. Most photography filters go about 77 millimeters on the large size, and then you go to 86, and I think it's 92, but those are incredibly pricey. But a lot of telescopes are obviously a lot bigger, 80 millimeter, 100 millimeter, 120 millimeter, and even like three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten inches is always a possibility. And obviously you're not going to buy an eight inch filter. So what they do is they mount it here in the back. And what you have to understand is that while the inch and a half filter is generally less expensive, it's designed for smaller sensors. So this camera here I have has a micro four thirds sensor. It's basically four thirds of an inch in diameter and the inch and a quarter you know, while it doesn't completely cover it, it does a decent job, and therefore you can sort of say, okay, I know this is going to have less vignetting. Now, obviously, if you have a micro four thirds sensor and you get a two inch filter, well, you're gonna cover a lot more. Now, if you happen to own an APS-C camera, and I know there's a lot of people who do photography with APS-C cameras, they're inexpensive, they are really nice quality and more importantly when you use them on a, a doublet or a triplet telescope um, since they don't go all the way out to the edge of the image circle you generally are taking the best part of the optics for that telescope so you don't have as blurry stars obviously if you're going to go with a micro four thirds that's even more so but an APS-C sensor sort of is the middle ground um, for that now with an APS-C sensor you can actually get away with an inch and a quarter. However, you will be a lot happier with a two inch filter if you have an APS-C camera. And obviously, and I, and I don't feel like I really need to make this, so maybe skip ahead 10 seconds. If you have a full frame camera, this makes sense. Okay, this two inch filter, full frame camera works wonders. This does not. <laughs> don't do this. Don't do this. It's possible to do this. Um, and I remember doing it way back in the day, but the amount of vignetting you get is pretty extreme. And you are basically really no better off um, doing it this way. But it is possible to do it, but I generally don't recommend it. Now, other than sensor size, there are some advantages to going with a smaller filter. Other than the cost savings, if you happen to have a filter wheel, you can stick a lot more inch and a quarter filters into a single filter wheel than you can with a two inch filter. So most filters I see, you can stick about seven inch and a half quarters, maybe eight depending on the design, whereas most filter wheels can only do five two inch filters. And this is the same thing if you're doing 53 inch unmounted, they generally do five. Now there are some bigger filter wheels out there that can handle a lot more two inch filters, but those get pretty expensive and pretty heavy very quickly. And at that point, you might be looking at a couple different options. Now, there are also square filters. I currently don't own any because they are, one, very expensive, and two, they do need a proper mounting system, generally in a filter wheel designed for rectangular filters. Now, there are some other filter sizes out there, but generally, if you're buying those, one would assume you have a little bit more knowledge about it, which is... 53 unmounted filters, which are great for filter wheels, and also specific camera filters, which sit right here in the lens mount for particular cameras. And this is quite popular for Canon cameras, and I think there's one for Nikon, and I'm not sure about Micro Four Thirds, simply there's not a lot of room here, but you buy the one for the type of camera you have, 
And that's a popular one because you can then use telescopes, but also for your telephoto lenses because it actually sits between the mount and the sensor. But they tend to be very pricey and they are camera specific. So the takeaway of this video is if you're doing a micro four third sensor, inch and a quarter works really well. If you're doing an APS-C sensor or a full frame sensor, the two inch is better. So I hope you found this video useful in determining if you should be buying a two inch filter or an inch and a half filter based on how large your sensor is. Please consider giving the video a like to help the YouTube algorithm so more people can learn this valuable information. And I hope to see you in future videos. That's it for me tonight. Thanks for watching and clear skies.